in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make an herbal poultice. Now, I mentioned the ingredients and the recipe for this poultice in the video that I did talking about remedies for mastitis. But I thought today I would go ahead and show you actually how to make the poultice and then talk about different ways that it can be used. And the really great thing is that this poultice is not unique to just being able to be um, helpful when treating mastitis. It is useful in a variety of different things, um, lots of different skin um, rashes, things like eczema. Um, it's good for fighting off infections, including mastitis and drawing out the toxins um, associated with that. Um, it's helpful for relieving pain and reducing swelling. And then also it's really helpful and aids in quick healing for any wounds or injuries that are sustained. And it's made up of just three simple ingredients, fenugreek, comfrey, and dandelion root. And those three ingredients have incredible antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. So this poultice is a really good and really great go-to option for families everywhere. And I hope that you and your family are able to find it helpful and useful as well. So let's jump right in. So first, what you're going to want to do is get some type of old kitchen cloth or newspaper or something to put down because this can get a little messy and this just makes cleanup a breeze and then get a bowl and a spoon to mix with so basically you can use any quantity of these ingredients um, you just want to have equal um, proportions and um, of all three of them so for you know smaller children you're gonna want to use a smaller amount um, of the ingredients so therefore, you know, you have a smaller poultice that you're using because they're, you know, they, the area that you're trying to treat on them is going to be smaller. And then likewise for an adult or for, you know, a larger child, you're going to want to use a larger amount um, because therefore, you know, it just makes sense that there's a larger um, area to be treated. So first we're going to do the fenugreek. So I am just using a tablespoon here today. But like I said, you can use any amount um, accordingly. Just adjust it accordingly to the size poultice that you're trying to make. So fenugreek is just kind of a pale yellow um, powder. And we've got the comfrey here. And that's just kind of a kind of musty tan brownish powder as well. And then lastly, we've got a very deep rich brown that the dandelion root is. There we go. Now I purchased all three of these ingredients already in powdered form and already ground up, but if you are able to locally access or you have grown any of these ingredients and have them in their whole form, feel free to use them and just grind them up yourself, um, you know, using a food processor or, you know, blender or something and use that. So basically, I've got all three of my ingredients in my bowl. Just gonna kind of mix it up here. There we go. And then lastly, you're just gonna start kind of pouring in very warm water and do it in just small little increments as you're mixing it up. Because unfortunately, once you've added too much water and it's too liquidy, then you have a hard time. It's kind of hard to undo that. <laughs> so. If you add it in smaller increments, then you have more control. So basically, just what you're kind of looking for is a spreadable paste. You don't want it too watery and too kind of goopy, but you definitely want it to be well mixed and make sure that all of the dry herbs um, have been incorporated. Okay, so here we go. We have got a very interestingly textured, it's hard to describe the texture, but it's definitely very, um, it's very goopy, but it's not super liquidy and it definitely plops super nicely. Um, not really sure how well you can see the consistency. So all of the dry herbs have been incorporated and stuff, but it's, um, but it's also, like I said, it's not like so sopping that it's dripping everywhere. So basically, then your last thing to do is you're going to take a 
some type of like thin muslin cloth or a cheesecloth or whatever or you could also just use a good old-fashioned disposable paper towel <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and kind of fold it in half and then open it up and spread the herbs on half of it or spread the, the poultice ingredients and like that and your reason for only doing half of it is so that you can close over the top and kind of it self contains the herbs so that they're not squishing all over the place and making a mess everywhere <laughs> so there we go so then go ahead and just fold that over like that perfect and then you've just got a very neatly put together on poultice and then you can just place this on the affected area so if you're trying to treat mastitis and draw out that infection you know place it directly on your breast if you're trying to you know maybe one of your kids got you know a big scrape on their knee and you just want to kind of make sure that there's no bacteria that gets in and kind of soothe that raw and irritated skin you can place that um you know directly on i'd recommend that you leave it on for about 20-ish minutes and do that a couple times a day and just let the herbs do their wonders and um, helping to soothe and to heal and to like I said draw an infection and um, you know, help with pain and all of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and that next time you are in need of a um, you know super powerful herbal poultice that you'll be able to recall this video and it will be useful to your family. So once again thank you so much for watching and um, if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. Pass it along to any of your family and friends who might find it insightful as well and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye